All right, right now somebody's going, Brent, uh, can we see this on the device? Come on, man, I'm getting bored. What have I paid you for, man? You're just, you're just boring me out. And I'm thinking, you didn't pay anything, man, it's free. But I'm gonna show you anyway. So here I have the device hooked up and let's go ahead and see where we're at and uh, go ahead and click run. And at this point, we bring up the uh, run configurations and we want to run this on the device. Now, you could certainly run this on the desktop and simulate things, but we're going for we're going real, man. We're, this is reality. This is this is the real deal. So, we want to re run it on a device. Go ahead and click run. And if we look over here, it's going to build it. Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it. Here it comes. Bum 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 bum. So now we have our list it says cool people, choose a cool person and we have our list and I can scroll it and I don't have a lot of stuff on here, but uh, let's go ahead and click Brent Arnold and da 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 da, it slid, you see that, did you see that? It works, it says user profile, we haven't changed it yet, but we're going to fix that right now and there's nothing on it. So in this tutorial we're going to show you how we can take the data from the view that's been passed in when, when we remember we pushed the view and we passed in uh, the selected item and we're going to add some information here and then with that uh, we'll have and then we're going to add the user notes and then we'll have all three views hooked up so one thing I want you to notice notice if I press the back button it switches back to the uh, list view right very nice very nice uh, this is unique to Android, right? So on the Android you have the uh, hardware buttons, but on other devices like uh, the Playbook or the uh, iOS devices, your iPhone, uh, we don't have hardware buttons to navigate with. We would have a back button. And uh, what we'll do is show you how to add that back button if we have time. I might show it in the next video, but the point is, is that notice that it's automatically built in. I didn't have to do anything in order to get that. So watch that again. Let's pick a different person. It switches over. And now if I press the back button, notice it goes back. And I didn't have to code that. It's just built in to the uh, View Navigator application tag. So that's where that comes from. All right, let's switch over to the code. Uh, I'm going to close my app. Now, uh, notice I said navigator and, and I said, what is this? And basically, uh, every view navigator application has a view navigator object. And that object handles the navigation of the entire view navigator view stack. And it's a, basically it's a global variable called navigator. And so, for the moment, when you have this relationship of view navigator application to the view navigator object, which manages the views, you call methods on the view navigator object. Notice how it says view navigator, and it's just referenced as navigator. So navigator.pushView. Okay, let's go ahead and jump over to profile view. I want to move this over just for the sake of uh, whatever. And at this point, let's change the title, right? And we're gonna say, cool person profile is the title. And what should we do, what should we do? Let's go ahead and save this. And I'm gonna click design. Let's, let's, let's get some stuff here, let's get some stuff here. Uh, let's see, I wanna drag a label and we'll set it over here and what else I want to dra drag a text area set that up right there what else what else you can do anything I mean you can do uh, you know sky's the limit unless Steve Jobs says otherwise but uh, but he's our cool he's a cool person he's on the cool person list Point is, this app is just to demonstrate the basics of navigating between views. So, you know, if you don't like it, 
I'll give you I'll give you 200% refund all right so here we have a label and we're gonna call this label person name and press return and on this we're gonna call this job description press return so what we've done is we've created two components add to them to our uh, user profile and we're gonna see that now you're saying to yourself Brent you haven't done anything about layouts and it's like really tiny and so let's change this up a little bit let's set this a little larger we're gonna set some label we're gonna change this label size let's get that puppy up there let's, let's jump all the way to 24 that's a good one right there and let's resize this text area just a little bit get it centered again this is not a design class this is a, a beginning kind of a quick overview of the cool features you can do so let's go ahead and change this now for example if we were really good you could add like an image and then you could you know load an image of that person so we'll switch back over to the source view and notice uh, we have our label our text area and notice that it's placed in uh, the absolute value so we have an X and a Y uh, we have some other width height and notice that's different than what we did within the list view where we said vertical layout here we have an absolute layout so these are that's why that's defined that way now the cool thing is when you pass information from uh, one view to the next remember if I click back to the user list view remember when we did the push view we passed in a parameter and the second parameter which is optional notice if I uh, click here and I press control space I take that back if I press there okay here we have our uh, code hinting remember the first one is required a view class and then the next uh, parameter is optional notice how it says equal null that means those are optional so we passed in data now the cool thing is when you pass in that data the view that is added to the stack will have a property called data which you can then pull out the object that's passed in so uh, go ahead and click user profile and what we are doing now is we are binding to the data property so check this out you'll love it press uh, the curly brace and the object it's a data object now remember what it remember what we had on that data object was called name and then we have a closing curly brace and then the text area is going to be we're going to bind this data and again we have text we're going to bind it to data dot and remember what that object was it was job whoops uh, closing curly brace so let's review what we just did go ahead and save what we did is when a view is added to the stack when we call push view the navigator hands off some data and the data that we are handing off is the object from this list and this list object has a name and a job and now when we click over to user profile what I'm doing is I'm binding to the data object to the label and text area information alright let's go ahead and test that and we'll look over here to our device check it out check it out all right now we have our views now I'm gonna go ahead and click one hey 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 look at that look at that look look at that it says Brent Arnold flex geek and guess what we have a text area and it's editable so I can add more but I'm not gonna worry about that right now if I press back it dismisses the keyboard check it out again I click back hey 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 look at that that is so cool okay now uh, before we leave this let's go ahead and 
uh, well, let's go back to the to the code. And uh, man, I'm getting excited. This is cool. Now let's add a button and uh, click over to design. And here, oh, notice that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Now let's add a button. And this button, we're gonna place here. And we're gonna say add notes. And you're saying to yourself, Brent, why would I add notes when I got this text field here? Um, let's go ahead and say editable is false. <laughs> no more. Now we say add notes. Let's go ahead and click source and uh, check it out. Here's our button label add notes. All right, this is cool. We're going to use more cool, cool features. We're going to add an event called click. Man, I'm just getting more excited. Maybe because I'm just getting late. I don't know. Anyway, click generate click handler. Yeah, boy. Awesome. Look, it added the script tag for us. Added the click handler. Look at that. That is so cool. All right. Now, at this point, uh, remember what we did before? We have navigator, uh, whoops, dot push view. And the view we're pushing this time, and I'm pointing at the screen, and you're thinking, Brent, we can't see your hands. Why are you pointing? And I say, I don't know, views dot user notes. This is good, man. This is good. Now, for now, uh, oh, let's go ahead and pass in an object. We're going to pass in the uh, person name dot text. All right. Now, so what we've done is we're going to push this view user notes person name dot text. Now let's go ahead, we're on a roll, let's go ahead and let's save this. Let's jump over to user notes and let's change the title and let's say cool person notes and let's switch over to design view and let's make sure we can see this and let's scroll down, let's click and drag a text area now we're going to just kind of line this up and here's our text area. Ooh, let's let add a label. Someone's probably said that. Brent, let's add a label. And I said, all right, let's do that. Whatever your name was, let's do it. Let's change this to 24 and we're going to title this. I mean, we're it's very similar to um, what the previous one was right so we say person name and the text check this out I want to add it right here add the curly brace and go data dot person name and then close that and save it and ID we're gonna call this person notes press return all right, let's kind of center that up. Okay, save it, press source. All right, let's review. What have we done? What have we done? Brett, what have you done? What we have done is uh, set up our views and we are navigating. We're going to push the user notes view, pass in the person name dot text. Now, I may have made a mistake and we're going to find out real quick. Let's go ahead and play this. Play it. Let's run this on a device. Click over to the device. And here we're going to choose a person. And notice here we have our loot. Now we're going to click add notes. All right. Now this didn't work and that's okay. I knew I kind of knew it wouldn't work. The reason for that is uh, I didn't pass in. Let's create an object. Let's just do a, a blank object. And we'll just say person name. And we'll say name.text. 
and close that object. And let's close the app. Let's try it one more time. I'm just kind of hacking my way through it. That's okay though. It's okay. It'll work. We can do it. We can make it work. All right, let's click a person, click notes, and there it is. There's my name. Okay, and remember on the navigator, we have the back button, and that brings us back to the, you know, it brings us back to the next, to the previous uh, views. So this is all built in with the current, uh, the way it's set up with the view navigator application tags. We have all this functionality built in. Now, the next tutorial, I want to show you how to add a button to the action bar. So if you're writing this code for another device that doesn't have a back button, we're going to set that up right here.